Hello guys and welcome back to tutorial 2 on the use of grep command. In this tutorial we are going to use regular expressions with grep. A regular expression is a sequence of characters which helps to define a search pattern. There are certain characters which are given special meaning and the use of those characters help us to develop a regular expressions. For example, the very first special character is star. Star means zero or more occurrences of the previous character. That is, if while writing a pattern, you use the character star, this means that the character that is occurring previous to star can occur within the search pattern zero or multiple times. For example, if you write grep hel star p in the file f1.txt, this means that you are looking for a pattern in which L can occur 0 or more times. So this means you are actually looking for those lines within the file which contains HEP, HELP, HELLP, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times and so on. So it is going to give you all those lines which contains the pattern H followed by E followed by 0 or more occurrences of L and then followed by P. Now let me give you an example. So I have already created a file with some content. So this is the exact file. You can copy the exact content if you want. I have also copy pasted this exact content within the description of this video. So you can just copy paste it from there. So now if I use grep hel star p within the file f2.txt so it is going to look for all those lines which contains the pattern HEP, HELP, HELLP and so on. So you can see that HELP 2 times L no L here HEP 3 times 4 times L 5 times L and so on if the file contains any occurrences of L after E and before P. The second special character is dot. Dot means any one character. For example, if I write grep H E dot P, this means I'm looking for all those lines which contains H followed by E followed by any one character and then P within whatever file you want to search. So if I write grep h e dot p within the file f2 dot txt so now e so i will get all those lines which contain any one character after h e and before p so it can be l it can be a c the digit one or a special character anything but only one character after h e and before p Next is the use of brackets. Now brackets is used if you want to restrict the occurrences to a few characters only. For example, if I write AC1 within the bracket, this means that I am looking for either A or C or 1. For instance, if I write grep HE, now in the earlier case, we wrote HE followed by dot. So dot was any one character. Now I don't want any one character but I want is H followed by E followed by 1 out of A, C or the digit 1 and then P. So this means I am looking for those lines which contains the pattern H, E, A, P, H, E, C, P or H, E, 1, P. Nothing else. So same thing but I will write here. Now A, C or 1. So you can see the difference between the two output. In this case, I am getting only A, H, E, C, P or H, E, 1, P. But here, any one character after H and E and before P. So it could have been L also, dollar also. The next thing is, if I do not want any one out of A, C or 1. So in the earlier case, I wanted a, C or 1. Now I want anything other than A or C or 1. So I will use the caret sign within the bracket 
along with all other characters. So I will write it like this H E bracket start. First character has to be the caret sign, which means not, followed by whatever you do not want. One common mistake do not write any comma, do not give any space, because it automatically means. Any one out of whatever you write within the bracket. So same thing, but this time if I use the caret symbol, which means not, I'm going to get all those lines which do not contain H E followed by A C or one. So you can see here, here it is L. Next line here it is dollar. Okay. You can use the same thing, both this not or without not, to give a range also. So let us suppose in this case I am looking for H E followed by any one character, not a digit, not a special symbol, but a character. It can be any character, so you can write A to Z. So we will get only characters. Similarly, if you do not want character, you can write here not in the beginning. So other than characters, if you want. Let us suppose characters and digits. So you can write like this. I'm not using any comma. I'm not using any space. Minus means range. All right. So I'm getting either characters or digits. Nothing special. No special digit. So if I want a special digit, then I can use a not here. I'm going to get a dollar sign. All right. The next special character is actually caret only, but the use is different. So actually, the caret symbol can be used for two things. One we have already done as not. The second use is if you use it outside the bracket and the first character while writing the pattern, then the caret sign means I am looking for lines beginning with something. Okay. So for example, if I add grep caret l t. This means I'm looking for all the lines which begin with L followed by T. Make sure you do not use the brackets this time for writing caret sign. So another example, you can see here I have used the brackets, but the caret sign is outside the bracket. So here it means that all those lines which begin with either capital A or a digit. Okay. If you use the caret sign within the bracket, it means not. If you use the caret sign as the first character of the pattern, it means lines beginning with whatever you have written after the caret sign. So let's take an example. Let's suppose I simply write L. So this means I'm looking for all those lines which begin with L. Okay. If I write L I, all those lines which begin with L I. If I write A and zero to nine. So all those lines which begin with either capital A or with the digit, or if I write small a to small z, all those lines which begin with small a to small z. So there are lots of lines, or all those lines which do not. So see, I have used multiple times caret, but both the caret means different things. The first caret means beginning of lines. The second caret within the bracket means. Not A to Z, so it becomes all those lines which do not begin with A to Z. So you can see other than A to Z. So it can be a digit or it can be some capital character or a special character also. The next symbol is dollar sign, which means lines ending with. For example, if I write grep zero to nine and then dollar sign, this means I'm looking for all those lines which end with the digit. So note that dollar sign is written in the end, whereas the caret sign beginning of the line was the first character. Another example, grep t dollar. This means all those lines ending with t. So let's try these out. So if I'm looking for all those lines which end with the digit, I will write something like this. So you can see all those lines which end with the digit. Or all those lines which end with. Now there are few more characters that we can use, but they fall under the category of extended regular expression. So whenever you want to use these characters, you need to use 
the minus capital E option along with grep. So the first character is plus. Plus means one or more occurrence of the previous character. Sounds little similar. So the similar thing was star. Star meant zero or more occurrence. But plus is at least one occurrence of the previous character. So if I take the same example, one thing to note is I have used minus capital E. Now in this case, it will give me all those lines which contains H followed by E followed by at least one L and then P. So I'm looking for either help or H E double L P three times L four times L and so on. So if I use grep minus capital E H E L plus and then P in the file. So you can see this output L has to be there at least once. If I just compare this with star, you will see the difference. This particular line H E P spelling wrong is extra because star means zero or more occurrence. So zero occurrence means what? It is H E followed by directly P. So this is one extra line here. This is the difference point. So plus means one or more occurrence. Star means zero or more occurrence. The next option is question mark. Question mark means zero or one occurrence of the previous character. So only zero or one occurrence, not more than that. So same example, but this time I'm using question mark, which means I'm looking for H E P or H E L P only, nothing more than that. So if I use this time the question mark with L, you will see the difference. There are only two lines, one containing H E L P, another H E P. So zero occurrence or one occurrence of the previous character. Next is the use of curly braces. Curly braces you will use if you want to specify the minimum and the maximum occurrence. So you don't want zero or more, one or more. You want a fixed number like two to four. 3 or 10. So you can use the curly braces. So M means the minimum occurrence and N means the maximum occurrence. So example, if you use H E L within the curly braces 2 comma 4, this means L can occur minimum 2 times and maximum 4 times. So if I write here the same thing, but this time I want to specify 2 comma 4 not 0 1 not 1 or n not 0 or n so you can see minimum two times three times and maximum of four times now if you either do not want to give the minimum or the maximum value then you can skip that particular number for example if you want to go from 2 to n minimum 2 but maximum can be anything then you can write 2 comma nothing okay just close the bracket so you can see here minimum two times maximum it can be three four five whatever similarly if you do not want to specify the minimum and maximum let us suppose it is four so this means it will go from zero to four but not five so all are there but not this one okay the last thing is the use of circular brackets now sometimes we want to do an or of words then in that case we need to use the circular brackets for example if i am looking for either the word harpreet or hardeep then i will use the circular brackets and separate each word by using the pipe symbol so whatever is within the bracket separated with the pipe will act as one particular word so i am looking for h a r combined with either preet or deep so if I run this grip minus capital E, whatever is common will come out of the brackets and then whatever you want to do the or of and then close the brackets within the file. So you can see those lines which contains either her preet or her and then followed by deep. So that was all about 
the use of regular expressions now you can solve these examples and test your understanding so the first question is write a command to count the lines not beginning with lower case alphabets so the answer is grep since you are looking for beginning of the lines this means caret sign then again you are looking for those lines which do not begin with lower case so do not means within the bracket another caret sign lower case small a to small z within the file let us suppose f2 dot txt so you can see all those lines which do not begin with lower case characters question number 2 add the command to search for empty lines empty line means which do not contain anything not even space so how to create an empty line within the file so you write some content press enter and in the new line again press enter directly don't write anything no space nothing so that will be a empty line so now the answer will be grep now empty line means what it contains nothing so beginning and then ending there's nothing in between so there's one such line how to be sure just to a count using minus c so there's one such line question number three write the command to search for lines starting and ending with the digit now this one is a tricky one so first thing to do is that you ensure that your file contains such lines which begin with the digit as well as end with the digit so i have modified my file the file with which i was working and i have added two lines in the end so you can see here this one begins with the digit ends with the digit similarly the last one it only contains a number 1 2 3 4 but it begins with the digit 1 and ends with the digit 4 so the answer will be so beginning with the digit means start 0 to 9 ending with a digit means 0 to 9 and then dollar sign okay this one is simple but remember there might be anything in between okay now what do you mean by anything in between how you will specify that so dot means any one character star means zero or more occurrences so a combination of dot star means any character any number of times so if you now read this so this means beginning with a digit then any character can come any number of times so there may be a character may not be a character and then again ending with a digit so if i run this you can see both those lines the last question is write the command to search for lines containing only digit so this time i am looking for lines containing only digits so this means this time i have to do what digit beginning with digit and then only digits can repeat so star okay but star means what zero or more occurrence of previous character so it will pick zero occurrence also so this means you cannot use star you need to use plus so if you are using plus then use minus capital e also and then you write dollar sign and you will get the lines containing only digits so that was all about the use of regular expressions with grep command hope you have enjoyed the video see you in the next tutorial till then keep watching this tutor take care Thank you.